Rick Ross tells Living cameraman the- to be quiet. London Hotel in New York City with his crew. So I was just telling your man, I'm a little, I'm a little upset that I'm the only TMZ guy that doesn't have a name. So I thought my name's JP. How does Jarvis sound? What? And he, said, and he stops, dead in his tracks, and looks at him and says, Don't you ever tell me the name that you should have. <laughs> Rick Ross is a funny nigga. You ain't in a position to tell me nothing, you understand? Understood, sir. So, what? Well, Be quiet. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. So he says, listen, Rick Ross says, listen. But listen, you eat pork? Sure. You do eat pork? Of course. I can smell it on your breath. <laughs> Why is he giving these evil look, bro? Rick Ross is just one of the, like, he is one of those niggas I just never know what he's thinking. Like, anything could be going on behind this man's skull, behind his dome. <laughs> you, you just ate a Garcia sausage, pork Garcia sausage. I, it, was, it was a premium sausage, but it was close. A premium sausage. Premio you sausage. ate a sausage and then you- I don't know why he pronouncing the sausage with a H. Came and talked to the boss. <laughs> Ross, you're the man. Of course I am. <laughs> Honestly, I think Rick Ross will be the funniest interview ever. I I just like there's certain artists that just they have that entertainment factor that's just so high, and there's really no mystique around Rick Ross. But it like as time goes on, some niggas just they just show why they really could have been like what do you call those people um not interpretive dance like what 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 do you call them improv improv artists or whatever it is like i just feel like the moments you can get out of this nigga are crazy y'all seen the video of him boxing hold on where he at Every video of this nigga boxing is crazy. There's no there's no chill version or video of him doing any regular nigga activity. Nah, nah, nah. I'm not talking about that video. It's a different video. He why we, we already know what the I'ma eat a video look like. This is the I'ma eat a video. And I still ain't seen this full vid. They make them noises just to put fear in the opponent heart. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, internet? Internet? This ain't got nothing to do. See, I knew niggas. Was... This got nothing to do with me. Just to put fear in the opponent heart. <laughs> Nah, just to put fear in the opponent heart. I gotta re-encrypt. Hold on, let me re-encrypt my encryption. Wait, let me re-encrypt it. I'm about to re-encrypt my encryption real quick. Hold on, I'll re-encrypt it. I'll re-encrypt it. Hold on, I'll re-encrypt it. We should be all set. If we're not, then I'm in the stream. They make them noises just to put fear in the opponent heart. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Okay. No, 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 no. I think it's just, I think it's just Twitter. I think it's just Twitter. If I type in this exact same video on the tube and if I type in this, this exact same video on the tube, watch, watch, let me type in YouTube. Like, see, it loaded up immediately. It loaded up immediately. Hold on, 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 hold on Stop hating like I just said. Whole shit loaded. Whole shit loaded. They make them noises just to put fear in the opponent heart. <laughs> All that breathing shit. They want you to think they punching so fast. Like Bruce Lee. That ain't nothing. That's a nigga making that noise with his mouth. And if you fall for mm-hmm. it, that's you. I'm going to eat it. It's for all the hustlers that's in the gym. Today, the day you see this. You tell you. In every video I see this nigga in the gym boxing, his nipples is protruding hard as fuck through these shirts, bro. This is a sweatshirt. Thick as material, thick as hell. I still see the nip poking. He's still poking. 
not his fault doing what he need to do staying healthy staying fit and everything like that i'm just saying what i see i can only commentate on what i see and what i see is crazy poking through the sweatshirt is crazy the day you see this, it ain't that cold you tell your trainer shut up nigga and you do what i say damn you shut up damn let's go let's go what did i do let's go Y'all dodging a punch from Rick Ross? One, two, three, two. Rock and roll. Mm. Dave Chappelle, I yell. What y'all doing? Rick Ross come up on you. Talking about I'm the boss. He come to your table. Why y'all be eating at the same re uh, restaurant or establishment? Who knows? Maybe he fell off. Maybe you came up. But let's just see. Let's just see. Like, what, what would you do in that scenario? He walk up to your table. Your girl sitting over there. You can barely afford the, the, the steak sirloin. You know what I'm saying? It's $99. You brought 100 Your trick cross would be perfect for snowfall. It's $99. You brought 100 You ordered the steak, and you and your girl got to split it. A well done. You ain't get the sausage. You ain't get the sausage. You 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 got one dollar left. Not even the tax about to run into your one with your one hundred dollar bill. What you doing? He come over. He offered to pay for the meal. You're you're now indebted to another grown man. What are you doing? Speaking from experience, Sean. My car got, my car got declined one time. It did. It did. But it wasn't my it wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. And once I realized that the checkings and the savings was in a different was in a different department, I just switched cards. I didn't even understand it was that deep. It wasn't that deep. Now play that get him right coach video. I don't know which one that is. I'm about to go I'm about to go find it though. Watch, hold on, hold on. I'm just saying. It happens, it happens every now and again. It happens every now and again. It's it's nothing that you can't recover from though, is all I'm saying. I'm talking about a scenario where you specifically only got a hundred dollars to your name. You literally just have a hundred dollar bill. You don't have credit anywhere else. You can't just pull out another card or nothing like that. Your your bill isn't getting isn't getting declined. You just don't have enough cash. That's just you. That's your life. That's your life. When did you get your tattoos? Which ones? You're not being specific. I got like eight of them. What are you saying? Sean, have you seen the video of the nigga screaming on the on the plane? No. Which one? I feel like it's multiple videos like that. I don't know what he was screaming. I don't know what he was screaming. I'm about to, I'm about to, go, I'm about to go to the next video. Hold on. Oh, here it is. I found it. Oh, my fucking God. I did not think the whole thing would Who be is here. funnier without trying to be Rick Ross or Kanye? Um, Rick Ross, because Rick Ross is funny, is like, a general humor i think most people can laugh at kanye i'm concerned while i'm live i'm like nervous laughing at everything that kanye say in general i don't think kanye is a funny person though like i think you could just you could just laugh at the absurdity of the things that he says but i'm 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 look i'm looking at ross i'm like yeah i feel like i feel like we could actually have a good time like unk unk type timing he, he got a nasty story in the vault for me and i know i'm gonna laugh the whole way through i'm gonna be dying laughing you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, a barbershop nigga. His Your beard is crazy. One, and how painful was it? I'm getting four tattoos this year. Okay, we going Why don't we look at some tattoo videos too? Hold on. But I don't have a. Oh yeah, my most painful tattoo. I got a diamond kind of like uh, lining on my on my sternum. That is the worst tattoo pain I've ever felt in my entire life. My neck tattoos didn't hurt at all, really. And I hear that the neck tattoos generally do hurt. They do. But my sternum, that is the worst. That literally feels like you're getting your, your, your like open open heart surgery or some dumb shit like that. It, it feels awful. The neck hurt, but I willed myself into thinking that the neck didn't really hurt like that. Like after like two seconds, the neck pain from the tattoo completely stopped hurt, hurting. And this part down the center of your neck where your Adam's apple is that doesn't hurt really at all i don't know if it's just way less nerves right there but that really don't hurt at all it's the areas around it that hurt a bit more but the sternum and chest awful holy fuck it don't matter if your chest is thick or not you still have bones underneath your fucking like your chest so when when i'm talking about the sternum the mid part of your chest that fucking hurts you dumbass we talking about Here we go. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
Now I got the expert who hasn't gotten a tattoo in that area telling me what the fuck is going to hurt or not. Rick Ross shows up late to his training session to intensify his workout. My boxing trainer, right? He been here about 40 minutes. I made him wait 40 minutes. Hopefully he'll have an attitude. And that way we can intensify the training. He don't Nigga, you trying to fuck your boxing coach? What the fuck? That's some shit you do to your girl when she like, oh, man, I'm going to make her wait a little bit longer than, than usual. And then let me hit her with this thing. Like, what you doing to your boxing? What y'all got going on? No, this is a part of my, uh, my tactics. Because I want to put hands on them. You see? Same type of timing. That's what a real student is supposed to do. Learn, learn. You give me all the, the wisdom. Mm -mm. And then I put the hands on you. You know what I'm saying? It's just like I want to learn Tai Chi. How you late in your own house? You've been here the whole time. <laughs> Rest in peace. That's what I'm saying. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. Whoa, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. This are, these are the craziest pair of Adidas I've ever seen. Why don't you wear your hats like that, Unc? Like what? I don't like flat brim hats. Flat brim, thick, straight. I'm not. I'm a. I'm a dad hat, trucker hat type of guy. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not being disrespectful, but it looked like you got that S curl in your hair. First of all. <laughs> Why niggas? Why do they do this? Why do niggas be trying to do this? You see his shit receding. You see his barely coming back. He can't get a lineup without pushing his shit back or getting super enhanced over here. It's gonna be way too noticeable. It'd be crazy when niggas get enhancements and then they keep their hair the same length, and you can see it ain't no body or real, a real like length on these parts on the corners. So it's just dark, and it's just there. It's crazy. You know he can't get no type of regular lineup or nothing. You just gonna come up here and clown him like that. Talking about oh S curl. Like why you do that, bro? Yeah. You gotta watch your friends, bro, and what they be saying. <laughs> why is this so stupid? <laughs> hey man, it's all natural. It's juicy and embarrassed, you know what I'm saying? Damn, cuz. Y'all letting y'all hair get to this point? Or y'all y'all doing something about it before it get to this point? Nothing worse than a fat nigga hating. <laughs> That's fat phobic. <laughs> Shut up, Nick. You going bald, to be honest? Shaving it down? Yeah, I think I would just shave it down. When you let it grow, it, it, it highlights the abnormalities. Oh, natural juice is embarrassing. Well, it ain't even hard. I don't put it hard, bro. That lady got to touch it, Because I see everything that's going on right now. If it was low, you can get away with it. I'm saying, I'm going to cut that finger and they're trying to go to my head. Those were the slow Whoa, well, hold on, bro Oh, my God I know you ain't clowning When these are the speeds of your punches God damn My man just put his hand out He ain't even strike you You made him wait for this? Okay, so I got a story. I did this one time. Me and my friend's older brother. I was like 14 and a half. And we went to a gym. And I was doing, I was putting in work. I was doing great, right? Only because we had followed like a routine. We followed a routine and we was going crazy. Um, After like, I want to say like six or seven of these like sets or whatever you call them. After like six or seven, I'm literally like I memorized all of the all of the attacks. So we just doing it over and over and over and over and over again. And I'm thinking, OK, like I'm I'm fired. Like I, I really got my ultra instinct going. This is before ultra instinct, but I really got my ultra instinct. I, I know what I'm doing. And then he was like, all right, I'm, I'm going to switch it up. And I'm like, what you mean? Nigga said, I'm going I'm to switch it up. 
I ain't gonna tell you what I'm gonna do though. We about to see your reaction time. I'm like, all right. I, right. I'm like, all right. Okay. Hit me with the one, one, one. I did one, two, one. He faked. I went forward. I slipped. I went forward after he faked me. I slipped because I thought I could go forward and just go underneath. The nigga punched me. And I th he just had the little hand pads up. So I didn't expect him to strike me. The nigga, like, he hit, he hit me as, as, as I'm going down and he punches me up. I'm like, what the fuck was that? And not a whole rest of the time, I'm just getting, I'm just sitting up here getting embarrassed because I thought we was just gonna follow the one two step route, like what he doing right now, so I could feel good about myself by the by the end of the little session. He just he just started beating my ass, he just started whooping my ass for no reason. Like he saw me getting confident and like do, like getting my gains up and shit like that, and nigga just start beating my ass. You see, that's why I don't fuck with boxing coaches because the nigga just doing too much. When I go wild, why he walking like that? Wait a minute, wait wait wait. This is crazy. This is insane, Ross. Rose. This is insane, buddy. That's when you realized that for real, so you started to carry your weapon? No. I still am a great boxer. I was, and boxing is in my family. My my uh, grandfather was a, I won't say world class, but he was a famous boxer. My dad knew how to box crazy. My brother knew how to box crazy. And I naturally it passed on, but... When I saw that, and the nigga was way older than me, so I didn't, I didn't have no pride about getting my ass whooped by an older gentleman. I didn't have any pride about that. My ego wasn't involved. I was just like, why did he whoop my ass for no reason? I didn't deserve that. That's all I'm saying. When I go wild, cause I don't want to train just to be training in the streets. Ain't no all that tap shit. Uh 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 uh. I go buck wild. So if you don't know me, when I up on you, it's why did they bleep it out, bro? What do you mean? Nigga said when I nut up on you. And I get what he meant when he said that too. So I'm not even going to trip too hard. They really could keep it bleeped out. But that was just a crazy thing to say. Why? When I nut up on you, it's what I'm going to say, which is going to be horrendous. Then I'm going to jump with the punch. <laughs> Nigga said I'm going to jump with the punch and kick the cameraman. So when I start training at this intensity level, I take my kick my shoes off so I don't kick my homie like that. But the cameraman not your man's? Another thing I'm gonna spare you. I'm gonna kick you. Wow. If I'm cameraman, I'm getting up and going. That's a crazy lack of respect. I'm kick you and punch you in the head. So come on. He making them noises. Oh no, nah, he gonna get winded quick. He got some power though. I hear the power behind the punches, but I could tell too many weaves, and he might accidentally re-encrypt himself. Like that took too much stamina right there. That move right there, I'm hating, but that took too much stamina right there. That move right there, his whole shit might be like re-encrypted. He ain't see that other one coming. See, it was too much for him. And it was like too many, it, it was too many spirituals hitting at once. You don't want nothing. <clears throat> yeah, nah. He ain't surviving. He ain't surviving. His stance. <laughs> Be sure to like. Oh my god, please bench. Please bench. I gotta see it. Come spot. Give it to me. Y'all got three. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know why everything he does is just so funny. It's probably he probably gonna have great form and do it just perfect. I just I don't know why it's just so funny. <laughs> oh my god. Get back. Get back, I don't know. I've done this before. What the fuck? What? Is that just a? Is that a, like a random nigga thing to do? Like when you get comfortable with the weight, you just start doing extra shit for no reason. Like your midsection, you gotta engage your core more, so you start lifting your leg up. I get you. I, it look. It do, it sounds like it don't make sense, but in your mind, when you start training more more frequently, you just like oh, okay. How can I engage my core more? And you just lift your leg up. I don't know why. 
it makes sense to me it made sense i'm not gonna hate on them for that it made sense to me those are movie props i don't believe you that's not even that much weight it looked like 245s at the end with 30 pounds in between them one two three ten pounds one wait it might be a 10 pound and then 225s and then 245s that's not that much weight why you why you hating on them why you hating on them that's crazy get back Step back. Step back. Get back. You just told him to spot you. Yeah, see, that's my type of timing right there. That's my type of timing. The 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 the, the crunches mixed with the with the bench press, and you really think that you engage in your whole little body. Little do you know, you're not really understanding the science of bench pressing anyway, because it uses your whole body anyway. You don't even need to do this. But it seemed like a good idea at the time. Like when you do it, it just seemed like a great idea. That is hilarious. Ah. Thanks. Nah, even if that's 35 plates, there's no way. There's no way what? My boy. Hold on. 45 and 45 is what? 90? 90 and 90 is 180. The bar itself is 45. Wait, y'all doing too much. Let me let me shoot. Let me prove my mathematical genius. Somewhat strong toe. I mean, this makes sense. Hold on. 90 and 90 is 180. 45. Boom, 20 for 200. And then another 20. That makes 225. And then boom, we got what I think might be 50. No, that would be way too much for him. Let's just do 60, right? 225 and 60 would be like 285. So I guess this would be like a little under 300 pounds. Uh, if these aren't 50 pounds right here, these two, and they're all 10 pounds, and that makes 30 pounds on each side, then it's a little under 300. It's like 285. Yeah, like 285. But if it's 50 and 50, that that's kind of – he's strong. He, he's strong if that's the case because he's fat. No, it's because he's big. Two, I think I think three hundred seems a bit more reasonable, but I don't know. Genetically speaking, like everybody could be a phenom, bro. I was at two. I was looking. I was lifting two thirty when I was a hundred and sixty five, or uh, no, when I was one seventy one. I was lifting two thirty. So this is not out of the ordinary. He could just be really strong. He could be very strong. Who knows? This this could be close to four hundred pounds. I don't know. I wouldn't know. Well, what reason would I have to cap? What you can always live more than you bench. You can always what? You can always live more than you bench. Did you mean you can always live more than you weigh? A whole set at two thirty. Yes, my boy. That's why I want to start working out again. I just don't have a motivation. Y'all not going to bully me into working out. But Jesus Christ, I was getting so strong. I was really getting there, making moves, and then I had to move. Then I had to move. I had to move, and then all my time went into moving, and I just completely left working out in the dust. I haven't worked out in eight months. Eight months. Weight do not be moving like that even when it's easy, Shawnee. What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Do it for Sarah J. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. You, you no, I'm just saying you you could try to bully me, but bullying not gonna work. Cause I'm gonna just find another way to take your bitch. It's not gonna matter. Anytime a nigga is try to rag on me for being thin, it just doesn't matter because I still take your bitch. It just don't matter. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Boom. 